Welcome to Fall Chambly. We're on the shores of the Richelieu River. Prior to the construction of a fort on this site, Native Americans roamed the site for several millennia to ensure their supremacy over the Richelieu. The French built three wooden palisade forts before finally building one in stone. Where you now stand is a replica built on the foundation of the era. You are presently in one of the fort's two bakeries, this one being in the southeast tower. At your feet are the remains of a bake oven. You're probably thinking, what bake oven? True, it isn't easy to visualize. Fortunately, talking with Giselle Piedalu, we get a better understanding. She is, after all, the person who led the archaeological excavations here 40 years ago. A bake oven was a very integral part of most fortifications. Soldiers ate a fair amount of bread, one and a half to two pounds of bread per day. It was a very important part of their diet. Fort Chambly uh, could accommodate a garrison of about 500 men. There were never that many in the fort, however, the maximum number was about 100 soldiers at any given time. The capacity of the, the bake ovens, both of them, because there were two, was about perhaps 1,000 to 2,000 loaves a day. In 1842, the bake oven was replaced by a uh, cook oven. Basically, it's a masonry structure under which we heat uh, wood and we insert metal pots in order to, uh, to boil the food for the soldiers. After consulting maps and antiquarian books, Archaeologists first thought they would find only two wooden forts on the site. They eventually discovered a third. Excavations are often full of surprises. Just like the King's Storehouse, a very impressive building where the general was lodged and provisions kept. They also discovered a single-use coffee pot on the site, an extremely rare piece. What was most fascinating about Fort Chambly's site is the number of remains from the various periods, from the prehistory through the French to the English regime, and, and the, the great number of artifacts also that we found from, from each of those periods. Some of them were unique or very rare as well. Even today, excavation is the only technique that allows us to be in contact with cultural resources. However, archeologists now have technologies that make their work a lot easier. Archaeology requires more and more a multidisciplinary approach and we call on other scientific methods in order to help us locate and interpret the various remains that are on a site. It is thanks to the many finds made by archaeologists that you will discover how life was at Fall Chambly. Enjoy the tour.